Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, just me back with a little showcase video, just a nice, just a nice quick one. And it's, well, it's this. Uh, it's an invention that I made a little while back and I kind of forgot about it actually. Uh, I made it on Cube Hamster's server, uh, which I found out now is just back up. It was down for quite a long time. Uh, I was unable to retrieve the file uh, off the server. I did inquire into it and... Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not too fussed though because I just went ahead and built another one. Uh, I did record it luckily, so I did have something to go off. So here it is guys. Uh, for those of you who didn't watch that episode, this is a binary to decimal converter. Uh, most binary to decimal converters I've seen anyway, they take however many bits you want. In this case, I've got my four binary bits. And then you need uh, two lines for each each single output. So you need to so have one output here and then one output here and then one output here and if you want 15 outputs which a 4-bit number can generate 15 different outputs or, or 16 if you include 0 um, you'll need 30 lines for that. So I thought is there a way I can make it so that every output is in one line right next to each other and Yes, I can. Uh, 15 lines, which is exactly the number of outputs. Uh, 1 all the way to 15, and I'm just going to prove it works here. Uh, 8, 4, 2, 1. Those are our bits. Uh, let's try a number. Let's, let's try 1. Yep. 1. Uh, all right. Uh, 4 plus 2, 6. And you can see, indeed, 6 is lit up. I look pretty silly here if uh, you know I got another wrong here. <laughs> um, let's try one with the eight bit. We've got eight plus four plus one. So, oop, a little bit of lag. Uh, eight plus four plus one is thirteen. Thirteen indeed, and um, we'll just whack them all on now, and it'll give us fifteen. Yep. Um, so I'll show you how I managed to do it. Uh, it does look confusing, but it's actually quite quite simple. We have a oh, shut up, bats. We have a line running through here. All right, I'll turn it off. Actually, I'll turn them all off. It's so you see, understand. So this line is by default off. This is the odd line. What I've done, each bit I've taken. So this is the one bit I've taken it and split it into two sections, and these sections are completely tileable or else they wouldn't be able to sit next to each other like this. Uh, so I split into two lines. Basically, this side controls all the even numbers, and this side is... Oh no, this side's all the odd numbers, and this side is all the even numbers. I got it backwards. So the odd numbers are all off, and the even numbers... I've inverted the signal, so it's always on. Uh, this is, as I found, pretty pretty inconsequential. It, I thought one would um make... The, it's a little more compact height-wise, but it doesn't, so uh, it's a little inconsequential. Um, and what else can I explain here? I, it's basically running through, and each one of the one bits has got a glass block and two blocks of gravel. So whenever this is powered, the one bit the, on the odd side will extend, push the gravel up into here, so the current can flow through. Uh, Coincidentally, all of these, well not coincidentally I guess, but all of these are exactly the same with two gravel blocks, and that's because if you're going to have an odd number, it has to have the one bit in it, no matter what. Uh, the even numbers are exactly the same, actually, yes, because you can't have the one bit in an even number. The one bit only appears in odd numbers. Uh, so that's the one bit taken care of. And you can see on this side, it has a glass block, and then a gravel, one gravel block, I believe. Oh no, two gravel blocks. So when this retracts, this gravel block will go down to down to there, and it will the the signal will not pass through. So if you want any even number, you can't have the one bit on because this will just drop, and you can never you can never get an odd number when the one bit is off, basically. So that's pretty much it. Uh, and kind of. Conversely, you can never get an even number. You can never get an even number while the one bit is on. You can never get an odd number while it is off because of this line. Uh, so because it's when it's off, it won't let the odd numbers through. And when it's um, on, let's turn it on. 
it will not let the even numbers through as you can see two four as such and pretty much everything else works on the same principle you can see I've got these three at the front inverted and that was to just save a little bit of room vertically uh, these three are inverted here and uh, you can see that they're automatically on so which means when all these are off the current runs through all of these so when I turn this one bit on the gravel will pop up and then the one will go through and the one only and that's just due to the way I've kind of set up the gravel like this and that's pretty much all there is to it and basically you just put torches where you want some and not torches where you don't want others uh, really you have to go in and work it out yourself there's no really other way <laughs> to kind of explain it basically it alternates torch and not torch depending on which numbers you want uh, which bits you want to activate and not want to activate and that's pretty much the entire premise of it uh, in fact if you look at the top here every gravel block you can't see up so every gravel block that is not up represents the number so this is the one bit so it's one uh, zero one zero zero which is two if you go up to here this is zero one zero or one zero one zero should I say uh, which is 12 and if we look on that line it should be together right oh that's 10 <laughs> how do I maths uh, yeah that's 10 one zero one zero is 10 not not 12 12 will be one one zero zero which is this one and yes indeed it is so I just want to do a quick little showcase uh, of this. Uh, I'll have to count up the dimensions now actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven high. And that's not including this because that's optional. Uh, I won't include this bit, but this is it necessary. This is not necessary, so I won't include it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen blocks for fifteen numbers. How good is that? And wide is just the number of bits times two. So it's, oh no, it's not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, ten. Because this repeater is not necessary. I only have the repeaters in here because the these things are interfering. Uh, so, yeah. That's pretty much all there is to it, guys. Um, yeah, this is infinitely expandable. You can take this pattern I've done here, you can add another bit on and another bit and another bit. Uh, it will get ridiculously long, uh, but it will only be ever as long as the amount of outputs you want from it plus one. And that plus one is just because you need this one block in here to invert the signal, basically. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And I reckon I could shorten it by a block if I didn't have this single signal, but whatever. Uh, one last thing to note, you don't want to use this in uh, devices that have a fast binary counter because it would just screw up. Uh, if you want to use it for games that have scores, it's quite useful because the scores don't update really, really quickly. Uh, generally in most games is what I'm saying. So it's very, very good for score counters, uh, mostly because it is so, so compact. So... Do what you want with it, guys. I'll chuck up the world download. I haven't done a world download of this thing in a while. And you can have a look at my Piston Paradox thing in that world download if you so desire. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, oh, yeah, and go ahead and improve on this, guys. This is by no means the most compact it can be. So go ahead. I'm, waiting. I'm awaiting your video responses. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.